This demo program illustrates how to print things out with the see out statement. Anytime that you uh, see out, in general, a beginner should have an end L at the end of that statement, just like we did in the Hello World program, see out, hello world, end L. But you could just see out end Ls with no string, hello world. Strings are things enclosed in double quotes. So this uh, line of code here just prints out a blank line, or two blank lines, actually, because there were two end Ls there. When we run this program, programming process matches up with this C out statement here to the left. But then the reason for this blank gap is because of those extra end Ls. And that's just put in for style. Notice that between C out uh, define the problem and writing pseudocode, in the source code, I put some blank lines. But that does not affect your output. Only the end L is being used to actually move your uh, cursor down in the black output window. White space in your source code is just there for readability of your code. So step one and step two are, as we see, smushed together in our output. And then continue it with like steps two, three, and four. But look at step three. Instead of putting an end L at the end of the C out, like I just told you you should always do, I just changed it up a little bit. I put a backslash N inside of the double quotes. That's a roughly equivalent way of creating a new line, backslash N. I don't care which uh, method you use in assignments, end L type this way or the backslash n inside of double quotes, but just make sure your output looks good. And it's, in best, it's always best to be consistent with yourself, so pick one or the other. In this case, with uh, the fourth step being inconsistent here, I put the backslash n down at the beginning of step five. Well, it ends up amounting to the same uh, uh, end result. A backslash n here before the 5 or a backslash n on the line before the 4, it still ends up making it look good on the output side. So I could have just put backslash n's right here where I'm waving my mouse and not used any end ls or backslash n's on the right end. You'll see some programmers do that. And some programmers just use end l the whole way through. In the end, I had to put a C out end L to make sure that this press any key to continue was down on its own line. That just automatically shows up anytime we do system pause, but we do need one last C out end L. Otherwise, the P and press would butt up against the period here after the word program, and that would just look bad. So let's uh, play around with it a little bit and see uh, what other variations we could, uh, we could create. Well, um, Let's try that backslash n technique, putting it at the front of every uh, st string, every, every set of double quotes. But it's got to be inside the double quotes for it to work. And no uh, a backslash from a forward slash. So if I'm using backslash n everywhere, then I don't need these end ls. And I don't even need this backslash n that was at the end of uh, step number three. And in this case, I'm going to recompile my code, build compile, make sure there are no errors down here. Good, zero failed. And now I execute the program by clicking the green triangle or going to the menu command, debug, start without debugging. And it still looks good. Using backslash n's in front of every uh, number. In addition to uh, uh, reviewing how C out statements work, this uh, demo program also has an interesting comment or two. The, the comment here at the top is called an inline comment because anything in line with the two forward slashes is commented out 
and therefore the computer ignores it. So you would put your name or the name of the company or something like that up in comment statements. Perhaps you want the date, uh, the date that you uh, typed the program uh, as well, and, and things like that. This kind of comment here is another variation where anything that's inside of the forward slash star and the sort of matching star forward slash, anything inside there is commented out and therefore ignored by the computer. So it's a good way to uh, sort of simplify your program if it has a lot of bugs and it's not working. You can comment out a section without deleting it because you don't want to delete something forever because then you might not remember how to put it back again. Anything in between these two, acting as a set of parentheses sort of, gets coming out, so watch. I, I highlight that and I just drag it down here and let go of my mouse. When I run the program now, let's check out what we get. Instead of getting uh, all the steps of the programming process, now it starts with step two, of course writing the pseudocode because step one was in the green area, commented out. Yet another variation. Let's just comment out nothingness. By putting those, of course, you know, next to each other temporarily, let's run the program and predict what's going to happen. Oh, error. Because I forgot my semicolon right here. So when you have errors, you might want to just comment out the whole program and run the program just to see if the empty shell works. It did, but because I didn't have system pause, uh, it went away real fast. So let's put the system pause back in play. It's the only thing that's color coded there. And running the program, I do get a program to execute. And now I use this like a scientific process here, and I just uncomment out one line of code at a time and I run the program each time. Okay, hello world works. That's great. So I drag this little comment marker down one line. I run the program again and now I realize I have an error. So logically I conclu conclude that something between here and here was the culprit. And then it's up to you just to like really focus and realize that you missed a semicolon or you misspelled the word see out or something. You're going to be spending uh, probably a few hours this semester commenting things out that you thought were good, but you typed them late at night and you forgot a semicolon or something. And that's life. Uh, you know, hopefully you won't spend those hours, but um, good luck with that. Okay, so uh, I'm moving my comments back to the uh, position that they originally were found in, and uh, hopefully this uh, demo will help you uh, be successful this semester.